Hi, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video. Now today, we're going to be doing a reaction video to the Logan Paul versus JJ face to face. I did one for Deji and Jake Paul, and now this one came out last night at one point. Um, I think it was about 9pm UK time, and I didn't actually have the time to record, edit, and upload it yesterday. So I thought, hey, let's get it out for late morning slash early afternoon. Probably will be the only upload of the day, um, so I apologise that it's a little bit earlier. Times will be back to normal for tomorrow and the rest of the days. Just before we get into this video, if you could like, subscribe, and share this video around, that mean a lot to me, but let's just get into this. Let's okay, so here we are, then, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's just get straight into it. It's 17 minutes long. I probably will put the majority of it in here. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this. It's a better outfit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Better outfit than last time. Think so? Yeah. Thanks, you <laughs> I think right, right now it's just. Uh, Part of the ego. I'm a showman. Round one, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel you out, but at the same time, I think I'm gonna hit you with a couple shots that make you realize truly what you've accidentally walked into. All right, fair play. And I'm not used to a YouTuber calling me out for something that I'm like really good at. So you kind of insulted. Uh, yeah, at first I thought he was joking. He called he called uh, Jake out. He called me out. He, any of the polls, yeah. he didn't care. And uh, I I decided to accept first. I think after I beat you the second time, Jake, Jake's going to want to kick your ass too if you're down. No, no, Jake no, no. was the K. Oh. To get your ass kicked not, by you're Jake? Not, you're not going to beat me. I'm going to beat you twice. Ooh. And then Jake's going to beat you. Okay. And then your career's going to be done. That's going to be weird. Are, are I don't think his career will be over, but... Interesting. Man, I'm way better right now than I ever was. So I would hope so. Because <laughs> I'm not I Joe Weller. So. I'm not Joe Weller. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I think, I think you're... I don't think you realize what you've walked into no i i trust me i don't think so and i'm very excited I, me too bro yeah. it's i'm, I'm pumped for all i'm just looking forward to a good fight oh, honestly my clout. your clout my clout it's true no one in america yeah. really knew who you were before oh, no, people know that i know but people it's, will know. It's, I, I think right now it's just uh part of the ego i feel like uh obviously logan thinks he's the top dog okay and uh he's not Ooh. i'm just gonna let you all right. Um, through you, bro. Is that right? No. No, yeah, that, no, that's not right. Mm. He's right, though. It is an ego thing. I have a pretty big ego. He does, too. So at the end of the day, it's just two dudes who are going to beat the shit out of each other. But yeah. Yeah. you want to go pro? Go How, you suck. How would you no. expect to do that? But I don't. Ooh. How do you know okay. that? Yeah, Cause I mean, you hasn't seen any of his... I mean, he's put training videos out there, but he hasn't exactly seen it a lot. You can't really say he sucks. Maybe you can say that he sucked in the fight against Joe Weller. I mean, once again, you can't really say that he sucked because Joe was shit. Um, but he's obviously going to have trained a lot more since that point. So you can't say that he's shit if you don't know what he's been like since beating Joe. Doesn't really make a lot Your of sense. Your match against Joe Weller was embarrassing. Well, was but once again, pads, Joe even said, <coughs> Joe said he, you don't hit hard. He said you don't hit hard. Yeah, obviously he's gonna say that. An animal. I'm a yeah. dog, bro. Yeah, to be fair, he's he's had mold, like over. I think they said over 200 fights. So obviously he's gonna be a little bit more confident in that aspect. Like it feels like you're starting to believe you can win. Yeah. Which is like. I, I no, fucking I'm serious. Love this. Like it's just two egos and it's talking, laughing. It's like we're talking. It's like how do you how do you do it? How do you do it for this long in front of so many people? This is called being natural. This yeah. is my natural state. It's called having Let's confidence. How's your preparation for this been going? It's, it's been going, been uh, doing good, good. Mayweather, you trained with Mayweather this camp? Yeah, I, I did for a day, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then he went. <laughs> so uh, after I did with Jeff. Oh. With Jeff. What's your background? Ooh. By your one fight, what's your background? Well, that's a bit awkward, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the speculation was he was with Mayweather for a day. Mayweather realised who he was fighting. And because Mayweather was friends with JJ, he left. And he didn't help Logan. And now um, Jeff is the Dow's trainer. Let me, say, let me tell you from experience, I've seen professional fighters, one gets in with the other, one fighter doesn't respect the credentials of the other fighter because he thinks you don't belong here, this is what I'm hearing from you, this is what I'm hearing yeah. in between the lines. And in that fight, this was Carl Frotch, George Groves, 80,000 yeah. people. Mm -hmm. 100%. They underestimate them and they get banged out. 
You know, Carl Froch almost lost. He was the champion. He was the guy that everybody expected to win because he didn't respect him. Yeah. What I'm saying yeah. is, it sounds like you're not respecting him enough to take him serious enough. Wouldn't it be funny if he lost then? It would be hilarious. Okay. Can you imagine that's not a, bragging that's rights? A, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Right. So are you taking him seriously enough? Yeah, oh, of course. I mean, look, I grew up my whole life watching fights. I understand how fights work. And uh, as much as I can sit here and pretend to not acknowledge JJ as an athlete and a fighter, he can throw hands. I see that. I'm training hard for it. Of course, I, of course I, I respect his ability to box. Okay. And I could get caught with anything all right cool good it is a fight I like this so by no means am i walking in a hundred percent i can win anything can happen it's mm. a fight okay is the size it gonna be a problem is it height on you yeah he's got, he's got reach on he's you he's got reach um he's got that yeah. background you know you saw the sparring that you did knock the guy down looked pretty good you know we've got fast yeah. hands panic though <laughs> Panic, you threw a lot of hands yeah. there. Yeah, that video was very bad because he connected, I think he threw like eight or nine punches and he connected with about two or three and it it didn't really look real. It genuinely didn't. I mean, the guy was, I think he was like 250 pounds, but that was like 250 pounds of chub. Like he was just fat. Like not fat, like, you know, that's just how it was. It's not like he was shredded, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to knock him out. Why would he go in not wanting to hey, knock him out? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's getting knocked out. And it's going to not be pretty. And you're going to be worried. You're going to be in the fight. Obviously, I think we know that I want JJ to win. Whether, if Logan wins that, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm stupid prick. Like, I'm just fair play. Oh, I just want a good fight. Is... Due to as far as the fight goes, talk me through the fight. What's he saying? From your point of view. Okay, one sec. I need to quickly stop and restart recording. One sec. Okay, we're back. I'm coming to you too. Um, What's he saying? I want to give the fans a show. Round one. I'm a showman. Yeah. Round one, I'm going to I'm gonna feel you out. But at the same time, I think I'm going to hit you with a couple shots that make you realize tr truly what you've accidentally walked into. Okay. Because again, I think you're caught in like YouTube land. That's round one. So have, we got, have we got ten in the fight? Huh? That's round one. Have you knocked him out yet? No, co my coach wants me to, but I don't. I don't. I feel like you can't. Okay. Uh, I feel like if we go past round one, it'll be a bit better of a show. So I think uh, round two. That is the most amount of bullshit I think I've ever heard. The scenes if you knocked him out in the first round would be so much better than if you were to knock him out in like the second or third. Let's be honest. The amount of bullshit that he's just pulled there, which he's done in so many different interviews. I'll put a link for the Casey Neistat interview with Logan Paul. The amount of bullshit that he pulled in that interview. The same with this one. There's a bit of a show and then run three is the knockout. That's mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Jojo? Round one. Uh, body shots. Cool. Lots and lots of body he's, shots. He's smart enough to not say first round knockout. Because you know man. that it just won't happen. It's open. It's always open. How do you know that? Yeah, just from your sparring. Ooh. My 18 second sparring yeah, tape. That that I this is where it's like: ago. is he double bluffing? Is he just bluffing, or what? Like you know what I mean? Lot, Round two. Uh, I might increase the pace. In fact, I probably will. Just increase it, just a bit, just a tad. See how you do. See, this is the only problem as well. He's gonna be fitter than JJ because he's been running every morning, even when he did his daily vlog. I used to be a fan of this guy. Whenever he used to do his daily vlogs, he used to go for a run every morning. He's gonna have more stamina. Chilling, boiling hot This guy should definitely win, yeah, not JJ Logan. This is when I really hope it. Once again though, if he does win, it's not gonna be like, oh, he had all these advantages. It's just gonna be fair play. You won, nice. The shots get more powerful, so whether energy just saw through my veins and that's when you when you talk it sounds like a be worried. dragon ball z character i can't get over this like and this is round four do you do you write this down do you write this, do you write he this looks at this every day down. before training Push you off and end your career <sighs> that is a strong pose pose threat promise whatever it's 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 really it's crazy, bro. And you're I'm doing, I'm happy doing, for you, you're bro. You're doing a lot of fidgeting, bro. Fidgeting? Mm. I, I mean, I'm someone's a bit nervous. 
know, he's really trying to get into his head. It's, it's, again, it's hard for me to sit here. Don't think so. You, you can but tell that he just doesn't want to be there, though. There, Sherlock. They both I just, just like, got massive egos. To, they won't I, get into each other's heads properly. I didn't really want to do this. I figured it'd be good. I don't really know why I'm here. I just I'll come in apart from the bandana thing. I'll beat the shit out of you. And that's all that matters. Yeah, man. I I don't think like I I, I do want to establish one thing. I don't think I don't think any of us are losers. I think we're both winners. Like I said, I, I respect him as a fighter and an athlete. He works that's hard. Right. I work hard. It's gonna be a phenomenal fight. Yeah. The problem is you're gonna get the loser's gonna get bitched on every time he walks in the street. They're gonna talk yeah. about the fight. So you got your ass That's kicked. gonna suck for you. <laughs> That's why I'm saying like, good for you, bro. Live whatever you're feeling now. Live in it. Soak it up. Cause it's gonna become a meme. And it's gonna be yeah. hilarious. I'm already Especially if this is played back. Whoever loses, if JJ loses, if Logan loses, there will be clips that are just every single time they they tweet, there will just be clips from this where it's like. I'm gonna knock you out in this part. Oh, I'm definitely gonna knock him out. That they will be just tweeted, just gifs. You asked me a Answer question. Answer my question. Man. Yeah, what's, what's your question? I'm scared. No, absolutely not. Cool. Okay, absolutely what's... not. But and you can see in his face that he's That's genuinely not scared at oh, all. We'll be supposed to get a handshake between. Fuck no! Because <laughs> you talk shit about me. You talk shit about my family. You talk shit about my girl. Come on, bro. Put that hand back. Mm. Put that hand mm. back. Mm. I will shake your hand oh. when you're on the ground and I help you up. And then I will shake your hand. I will give you the firmest handshake of your life. Okay. And I will get I will personally get your bandana for you and put it on your head. <laughs> but until then, bro, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it hundred with you. It's not gonna I'm in your head. I think we have a problem. I think so. I v. Logan. I think so too. I, think I, think so too. I don't know. Check the links in the description if oh, you can't. Oh, I love make... that so much, though. I love that. Well, there we are, then, guys. That was interesting. That was a lot better than the Dead G versus Jake Paul one, straight up. Um, they were actually. It wasn't just oh, you're a bitch, you're this, you're that. It was like, um, he has potential. He could knock me out. Whatever. Simple as. Whereas the Deji against Jake Paul one was literally just name calling um, and saying that they don't believe in the other one. But there we are then guys, this is where we're gonna end this video. Uh, I tried to be as non-biased as possible, so please don't don't come and hunt me down, Jesus, with all your, your gay comments, because um, I will stop YouTube. <laughs> As I did say though, this is indeed going to be the end of this video. If you did like it, then please do like, comment with all this down below, subscribe, share this video around. I would love to get in a little community. Thank you for watching. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.